I certainly feel like it's worth trying. Oh my god, it's working. Yes. The cuteness. What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. My name is Zion and you're watching Reptiliatus. In today's video, we are going to be taking a look at what I would quite possibly argue is the cutest spider in the world. Watch out, Lucas. Hey. I'm calling you out. But seriously, I haven't shown you guys these yet. These are actually my black velvet spiders. I have a 1.1 pair of these that I recently got from Tarantula Canada. And yeah, we're gonna be rehousing them today, seeing if they might be open to a little feeding as well. And yeah, I just wanted to introduce these animals to you. They literally look like little children's animated film characters. Um, someone's adorable portrayal of a spider brought to life and is right there in front of you. It's unreal how cute these are. I have posted them on Instagram and TikTok, so if you're not following me on those platforms, I do have my links down below. Please give me a follow, say hi, say uh, you know you found me if you like. Yeah, so that's kind of the agenda for today's video. Okay, so I have two of these really cool containers I got in Arizona actually during Pet Fest. You wonder what I'm talking about, link up above. Anyways, um, yeah, so we got the containers here. I'd like to rehouse the spiders into. Here's the male, He's just a teeny little dude. You can see him there, and he does have bulbous pedipalps already. So we're gonna need to try pairing them once they settle in before he gets too old. And then my female, who I've named Blueberry already, is down in this corner, and she is very cute. You can see that she literally looks like a little blueberry kind of if it's not weird to say i don't like saying it because ticks are gross but they kind of look like a giant tick if you don't know ticks are actually arachnids as well they're so little like they're just these little cute bulbous clearly velvety as the name suggests spiders but yeah let's go ahead and set up their homes now these animals sort of like it a bit more on the drier side they're really handy too um, with the lids. We have some substrate here. It's just a mix of peat moss, a little bit of bark, uh, some leaf litter. And then we have a little bit of uh, moss here as well that they'll probably use to web. And then the bark as well. But yeah, so this will be very handy in creating an environment for these animals to web. And they like to make little kind of tunnely nests, hideouts or that sort of spider. So we'll simply put some substrate in these containers. Very easy to do. Literally just... Oh, Dion. I thought I could handle doing this with one hand while I film. Apparently not. Let me clean this up. Okay, now that I've swept my life away and cleaned the floor and the desk, let's try that again. So I don't even think we need that much substrate. I'm gonna take the moss out of this one. Oh my gosh, I almost tipped that again too. We're just gonna put a nice amount of substrate in the bottom of each of these containers. They don't need a lot because they're not really terrestrial or anything. Now, sort of how I do with some of my more large arid species of isopod, I'm gonna have a corner with some moistened moss, which I imagine they will probably use to hide in. And then we will now add some wood. So I'm going to put this in here for the male. And I'll put this here for blueberry. Kind of try and pin it in a corner. And I imagine that blueberry is probably going to make some kind of web hammock thingy ma -bobum. She might even take some of that moss and move it over here. We'll see. We'll see what she does. But yeah, these will be the containers. So now maybe what we can do is a little feeding of the animals. See if they might want to eat. Let's try feeding them and then moving them into their new enclosures. So here's Blueberry's enclosure. Let's try and offer her a cricket. Blueberry. So here she is. This is Blueberry. She's very tiny. There you go. Oh, you missed. Took the cricket. It's a very small spider. Come on, buddy. Yeah, 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 you got it. You got it. Go for it. Oh, he missed again. You keep missing. Seems like he might. Oh. Does he have it? He does. 
He's got its leg. So what happens if we just let it go? Is he gonna hold on to it? Oh yeah, he's got it by the leg. You gonna let it go or no? Ah, he let it go! After giving it a few tries, I decided that this guy was just not down to eat, but since the cricket wasn't doing anything, I figured I could leave it in there in case he got hungry. Alright, so we have our enclosure. Now I am going to do a little bit of a spritz, because the substrate is literally bone dry. Yeah, we moisten the moss, um, not side like that. And then we're just gently going to come over here and... He's like, what is happening? Excuse me. So I'm probably just gonna prop this up right here. Oops. Sorry, buddy. And yeah, that's gonna be his enclosure. I got some, oh my gosh, buddy. You okay? I'm so sorry. He's like probably hating me right now. Oh, that's that was scary. Okay, I'm not gonna do that again. I think it's fixed properly, but yeah, hopefully he likes it. That's one down, one to go. All right, guys. So I just prepared the enclosure here, sprayed down this side, and uh, have some wood ready. Let's get Blueberry into her new enclosure. She's just over here. Okay. Hello, madam. Oh my God. How is it possible that you are just, that you are this cute? Uh, she's so cute and tiny. Hi. The cuteness, look at her. So do you see what I'm saying when I said they kind of look like a tick? If that's not rude to say, sorry, Blueberry. But yeah, let's gently get in here. I'm gonna pick her up and hopefully hey hi hi to you too <laughs> did i did i see that right did she just wave hi to me we got her here and she's just like yo what is going on here i am very confused i understand girl we're just gonna place this little web structure right here like we did with our boy yeah, i think she'll do great like this so I'm going to give her till Friday, today's Sunday, to kind of settle in, maybe do some webbing. We'll see what she decides to do. And then I'll give you guys a little update. Maybe we'll feed her again when she's fully settled in. But yeah, that's Blueberry in her new enclosure. All right, so it's been about a week now. And uh, right away, I can see that Blueberry has made a few major adjustments to her enclosure. Uh, the unnamed male, you guys need to name in the comments. Do some thumbsing up and such to vote. Has done less. Uh, we'll take a closer look now, but he hasn't really done much to modify the uh, home. But holy, Blueberry got to work and I'm sure she's not even done yet. So let's take a look here. Okay guys, so my male velvet spider is just hiding under here. You can see his legs, but there's minimal work done as far as webbing. So you can see that he did do a bit of webbing up on the wood here. And I guess that's just to kind of anchor this silk home shall I say fasten it more in place there's a little bit of webbing going from the moss here across but otherwise not a whole lot of action however <laughs> if we take a look at what blueberry has been up to oh she's gotten to work look at all that fortunately for me she didn't attach any of it to the roof of the container so we can open this and have a closer look now so yeah guys look at this she really uh, did a lot of webbing. I wish I was around because it would have been pretty wholesome to watch her walk around and <laughs> do all this webbing. But you can see that this seems to be the uh, new entrance to her home. And she has a lot of webbing all over the place. I'm not sure if these are actually to secure the home or if they're like trip lines for some kind of insect to accidentally crawl over and get attacked. But I figured you guys would want to find out alongside me. So I'm thinking what we're going to do is try to feed her in her new enclosure. And let's see how that goes now. Okay, friends. So here goes nothing. Coax her out with it. I don't know if this is going to work. I certainly feel like it's worth trying. 
Oh my god, it's working. Oh, 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 look at her! Are you gonna come all the way up here? So it looks like those are trip lines, guys. It's all connected to the entrance. Oh my goodness. You are so cute. Blueberry. Look at her. This is the most wholesome thing ever. Come on. Don't tell me you can't see the spider being cute. Come on out again. Please. Look at her. Guys, are you kidding me right now? This is the most adorable thing I've ever seen. Okay. Peekaboo, come on. Do it. Hi, madam. Come on. You got it. Just come on and take it. Yep, yep, yep. It's right there. It's literally right there. You got it. Boom. You got it. Okay, well, enjoy that. That was pretty adorable. Perfect. Well, I'm glad that they're doing well. I think the next step will be trying to pair them up in a week or so. So guys, I really wanted to use this video to create an opportunity to sort of break down the stigmas against spiders and really show you that they're incredible little critters. Whether it's the tarantulas behind me, or these cute little velvet spiders. Debatably cute, to be fair, depending who you are. I just want you to know that spiders are really interesting animals and they deserve a bit more credit for being part of a healthy ecosystem, for being lovely little animals on our planet. Sure, they have this negative stigma, being all creepy with their eight legs, in movies they're depicted as creepy, and it's completely fair to have a phobia. After all, it doesn't have to be rational. But my hope is that through my content, I can educate my audience and hopefully let you see the spider through a different lens that sort of enables you to hopefully take away something positive from learning about the animal that maybe initially scared you. Spiders are responsible for consuming millions, if not billions, I think it actually is billions, of insects a year. If it weren't for spiders, we would be overrun with pesky insects, mosquitoes, etc. So at the very least, there's that to appreciate of them. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. It was fun showing you these adorable little guys and I really hope that the next video I do on them, we'll have a chance to breed them. I wanna ask you guys as today's question of the day, do you have any resentment towards spiders? Like what is your feeling about spiders? I don't necessarily mean as pets, maybe it is something you wanna share about your experience keeping them as pets or why you don't. Share with me what you will. I'd like to know how you feel about spiders. Do they frighten you? Do they excite you? Do you enjoy keeping them? Do you appreciate seeing them in your garden? Let me know down below. As always, I'll give a comment a heart and then we can engage in a little bit of a conversation. Awesome. And funny enough, today I put my question of the day at the end of the video, so I guess you can kind of reflect back on what you saw and think about it. That's why I didn't put it at the start. We're at the end. So without further ado, I want to thank you all so much for watching. I'm going to let you guys know that next Tuesday's video is a silkworm feeding video. So I think you're going to enjoy that. Have a wonderful weekend, everyone. Be safe. Wishing you all good health. Wishing your families good health. And as always, I look forward to seeing you all in another video again soon. And if you want to see more videos about arachnids and cool invertebrates, check out the link up above. See you guys. Take care.